Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Lace Artistic Jewelry Design. Today we are going to be making a jade a multi green jade African jade and agate bracelet, stretch bracelet. Okay. So here we have some fruit green right here fire agate beads which is the dark ones and we have a green marble and black bead another green fruit green um, agate bead a gold spacer and then we have African agate which is the lighter beads another round marble green bead another African jade bead gold spacers an oval focal bead right here in the center okay we have that and the pattern repeats itself on the other side and I have my beads on a rod from Luisha's channel Luisha's channel from Misty Moon I got these magic rods from her as well as the coil buddy so go and check her out she have nice designs and also the um magic rod really helps with your design so this is what we have right here okay so we're going to put that together on some stretchy string i have some stretchy string right here which i have a tape down as you can see right here on my board, I have it taped. Okay, so it's taped down right there. And I have, these are the African Jade beads. These come from, as, well these is Temu. This is come from Temu. The fruit green agate beads come from, these come from Temu. Okay, the African Jade comes from, SL crystals the other bees are vintage bees that I have in my own collection so right here we have a needle okay that we're going to be using we're going to put it on this right here okay and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stringing it on there. Okay. So our first bead we're going to gather together is the fruit green fire agate bead. Okay. So I'm going to have to pull it back some just so I can find my other hole to set. I'm going to put the needle together. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. By the way, this is take number two on this bracelet because my first bracelet I put out. You all said that you did not see what I was doing. So I'm going to make sure you see what I'm doing this time, hopefully. Okay, so... That's that on there. We got the fruit green. And we got marble green vintage beads. I work with vintage beads. You know, vintage jewelry as well. So here we are. We string it up. We are stringing. On a green fire agate bead. Let me see this. I'm going to have to pull this away some from me. This one. So I can locate where the hole is at. I need to locate where the hole is at. So. Give me a minute. As you can see. There we go. The green fire agate. Okay, 
So it's right there. Then we're gonna string on the gold bead, gold spacer bead. Green. Then we have the green African JB, like I said, which comes from SL. So here we go. That's the green African B, the green black marble vintage B. So this is going to be different shades of green. Another African green jade bead. Let's find the thing. Let's pull it back some from my sight. I am far sighted, not near sighted. Makes a difference. As I said, I'm working with some glasses that have a camera on it. And they're over my regular prescription glasses. So it makes it a little difficult and challenging. But we're going to make it work. Okay, that's that. Another gold spacer bead. Another oval focal bead. If you like this channel, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like what you see that I'm doing. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone. Subscribe. Also hit the notification button for the next time I make a video of jewelry, make or jewelry making or unboxing. You can also leave a comment in the comment section. All comments are welcome, except for negative ones. This is a positive channel and an educated channel. All for educational purposes and entertainment tutorials only. Okay, so so far this is what we have. Okay, this is what we have right here so far. Strung up. You got the green marble and black bead. African jade. Green marble bead, which is my focal over bead. Gold spacer. African bead. Vintage bead. African bead. Fruit green agate. And it's going to repeat itself, okay? So this is what we have. I figured it's better for me to just tape it this way. You know, just tape it to my board. I'm working on an easel. It's at a slant. Instead of looking straight down. I look up at an angle. Any jewelry that I make can be found on my Etsy shop. The Lele's Jewelry. It will be in the description box below. I'm also on Instagram as Miss Lake Takes. Facebook as Lele's Artistic Jewelry Design. And TikTok as Miss Lake Takes. I do a lot of my posting of my jewelry there. Sometimes before it goes to my Etsy shop. That's where it will go. It's almost like giving you a heads up of what's coming to my shop. Okay. We're just repeating what's on the other side.
This is the fire, agate green, fruit green, bee from Tim Yu. They're pretty too. They have that marbling effect. Now the whole you all probably can see it before I do. Okay, there we go. Uh oh, my gold spacer bead. That might be a little shaky because I am wearing the glasses. Okay. Now I took two off at a time so we can go ahead and finish it up. Excuse me, no, that's just my bracelet hitting up against the board. Okay, the last bead. As you can see, the rod is clear now. Makes for easy doing sometimes. Okay. Now we're gonna need a gold spacer right there. So I'm gonna need a gold spacer right here at the end, right here. So give me just one minute. Okay, we at the very end now. So I'm gonna take the needle off. Okay, and the needle comes off. thread off now to the side let's give it a good measure and about seven and a half which is fine okay now I'm going to try to get this to where y'all can see it. Okay. You have the loop here. And you have this. You grab one. Okay. And you Pull it down. Pull it down. Tie a knot. So I hope y'all catching this. Okay. Take this string. Take it under. And this one under. Make sure you don't get it over there like I just did. Want to make sure these are going in the right direction. Okay. See that? Tie it. Bring it back under, tie it again, okay, so we then tied it again, I'm going to take it, okay, Over Okay. Try 
let me see what I'm doing here. Now this is what I like to do. Then I just take both of them, loop it through, bring it all the way down. You see that thing all the way down, but there is a remedy for that. You just do like that. Now you see there is a knot there. Okay. You have you can glue it or not. Some people glue theirs, some people don't. Okay. Now I am going to attempt to find my needle here. It's somewhere. No, oh, it's okay. My needle must have failed. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about it. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut this off now, okay? Let me see. Do I want to do one more? I want to make sure it's going to fit through that hole, though. So we're not going to, we're going to cut it off. Okay, get your scissors. And you see where that knot at? Cut it off. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of that left. Okay, now i got to find out where my knot at. My knot needs to go. See that little knot? It needs to go bye-bye. So, you make sure you pull it. Ease it in there. Ease the knot in there. Otherwise, it will come out the other end. Okay. Well, I see it right there, so let's just bring it around to the big one. Okay. Okay, now they're not going bye-bye. I put it in the big one. Okay. Here go the finished bracelet. Okay. There you go. It's a pretty bracelet. Fits a size seven. It's a seven and a half. Probably can't even stretch it to an eight, but I wouldn't do that. So there we go. I'm gonna try it on. Okay. how it look. It's got plenty of give in it. You ain't got to worry about any string showing. All shades of green. You got light green, dark green, medium green. And light green. So you can see how that is really light. Go spacers. Let's move all of this out the way for right now. Here's the finished product, the finished bracelet, so you all can get a good look at it. Be blessed today and don't forget to be a blessing to someone else. Thank you for stopping by my channel and don't forget to hit the thumbs up, share it with someone, like it, leave a comment in the comment section below and hit the notification button for the next time I put out a video of unboxing or jewelry making. Thank you and have a nice day.